Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I'm going to do a love reading today. For those of you with someone on your mind, you feel a strong connection with that person and you're wondering what's going on for them. You may or may not be in communication with them right now. This is very general, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, if it does resonate, then claim it. But obviously it can't be everyone's story, that would be impossible. So we'll see for the viewer, first of all, what comes through. I'm getting a very tearful energy here. It's suddenly come over me. So some of the people I'm picking up on, you're yeah, you're not grounded, so try to ground yourself. Um, quite emotional, something might have happened recently, you might have purged. And that's coming through here with the messenger of fire. Um, very up and down in your energy at this time, I feel. A bit defensive, upset with someone as well. And you're thinking a lot about this. Now, it may not be your person, you know, that you're upset with, but this is the energy I'm getting. Yeah, a bit of a negative energy here for this group. Um, for some of you, you could have an addiction. But I'm getting here, it's more negative feelings that are sort of eating away at you. And you're trying to move on from that. Some of you, yeah, you're trying to start start anew um, in your life. Maybe you want to learn something new, study, focus on your mission and your purpose. So I'm really getting a transition here for whoever this resonates for. Um, you're just realising that where you're at or where you've been doesn't resonate with you anymore. And as you find your balance, the yin and yang here, you stand strong and you move forward. Some of you might even be thinking about moving a location, you know, um, just moving on your spiritual journeys. So we've got the seven there. So we've got signs that came through, Cancer, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So how about the person on your mind? Okay, so they've got the Ten of Swords, first of all, showing an ending and a new beginning. Something that was quite painful for them could have been a betrayal or a loss in their life. Um, some immature communication caused this, I feel. Um, between them and someone else. Now this could have been between them and you. Take what resonates here. 
Maybe they were the person that upset you. I'm getting an immature energy anyway, maybe someone younger than you. Um, emotionally immature in particular. So, you know, emotional intelligence is lacking for this person. You know, age doesn't matter, obviously, as a lot of you know, with emotional intelligence. They found something out, I really do feel here. Um, and they spoke their truth, but they were a bit harsh with their words. So now they're turning their back on that situation. The world is their oyster. They're looking now at their options. Trying to focus on their happiness. It's amazing because they got the three of pentacles that you got. This is positive. This is showing me you both have a mission together. And you will be together. Um, this is quite a divine connection, I feel. We've got the Hierophant as well, the bottom of the deck, confirming that. Yeah, this person has been through a lot. Um, but I do feel they want to approach you. As a Knight of Cups, there are emotions there that they have for you. They've been through life lessons. We've got Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces there. Let's get some more on how they feel about you. So they got the chariot as well, it came out for you. This is how they feel about you. They feel that you have maybe moved on, that you're doing very well for yourself, that you're very strong, able, grounded, balanced. They feel a lot of regret and sadness over the way things happen with you, over the loss. This person would like to return. Um, it could take them some time though. We've got pentacles, slow moving energy. I feel that they, they feel a lot of passion for you and drive. I'm really getting an awakened energy here. Notice the light around his head. Awakened to their purpose with that three of pentacles and to what they want. They feel they sabotaged this connection with you. They know there's a lot of love there though. It's divine. Yeah, I'm, I'm really getting here emotions coming through my voice. Guilt. Um, and regret. You see, you, the viewer, I like this lady here, you sort of, you tamed the beast in this person and they felt something for you as a result. This divine love was gushing out of them and then they just walked away. They couldn't take it. They sabotaged this connection. Let's see what may come in for you, the viewer. I really got a heavy energy there, by the way. Um, heart chakra block for that person. Anxious energy. Um, also... Aries, Leo, Sagittarius again, Cancer, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. 
Yeah, same signs that came out for you before. So that could be your person sign or yours. Take what resonates. Okay, so it seems a lot of you are going to have a decision here. You're being guided to follow the light within, keep moving forward. You may have some conflict, though, as a result of making this decision. It's quite difficult for a lot of you, but five here for change. You got the ten of air that your person got. So some of you are going through something quite painful here. Um, betrayal, loss, an ending, new beginning. For some of you it's up to you to do this. So whether it's a love relationship, job, um, someone in your life who's caused you might have had conflict recently with this person or these people that came through before some of you are being guided to look out for the signs that are guiding you to move on and you do have love on the way someone who you're going to meet face to face for some of you this could be someone new serendipity things happen the right place the right time but with those two three of pentacles i really do feel this is for a lot of you this person um coming to see you or just reaching out the seahorse, a symbol of loyalty. Very loving energy here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, some of you are being guided to break free here. Trust the divine. Let go. Surrender. Wow, there's the seahorse again up close now <laughs> so divine love yeah communication here coming through swift communication a new beginning in love slow moving energy this is the same card as well knight of pentacles slow but committed and loyal. I do feel an age gap again. Okay, anything else for the viewer? So this is you, the consultant, um, three of cups here, happiness, yeah, you will have happiness, shows a reunion potentially, you may be a little bit defensive, and here's that person again, you see, coming face to face with that person, you've both been on a journey, four of wands, twin flames, Potentially. And your person also got a four. They've been keeping things to themselves in terms of how they feel, and something comes out here, something's revealed. 
people start talking, you know, behind this person's back. So either they reveal something or something is revealed to them. Because we did have the Page of Swords before. Showing, you know, they might spy and find something out. Yeah, a decision around love. We've got two here. And I also feel they want to um, resolve a conflict with you, potentially. Okay, let's take some whispers of love messages as well. So a lot of water, again, like this image here, for this is a message for you, the viewer, to listen with your heart. So a lot of emotions that may come forth, if you're unsure what to do, just listen to how you feel within. Focus on love. As well, lift your vibration. Again, here's someone reaching out, you know, face to face. And you're being guided to stay in that compassionate energy of unconditional love. Yeah, this is, this is like the, the image before we had um, of the, here it is, bottom of the deck. You tamed this person, this is very similar you know, the dragon here. Um, so your energy is very good for this person. They know that you listen, they know you understand them. Be willing to express love. This is for you and this person, I feel. So open up to how you feel, be honest. I feel this person will as well. We've got feathers again. You may see as signs from your angels. This could be a bit challenging for some of you, by the way. So that's why you're being guided here to express how you feel. Be compassionate. 24, breaking down to a six. We got six here as well. Harmony and love. Okay, um, I'm gonna take a few of my homemade Made With Love cards. Messages from this person. I feel they want to say something, but they struggle, as I was saying before, emotionally. So what do they want to say to you? Okay, wow, those two there just dropped out. I'm going to take those as well. Please don't forget me. I hope we can put the past behind us and that you may forgive me. Yeah, I was feeling that guilt coming through before from them. You're my last thought before I sleep and my first thought in the morning. I've been such a fool. I'm making changes to be with you. When I'm with you, it feels like home. Yeah, so they were quite immature 
as I was saying, you know, and they, they realise that now, because they're saying they were a fool. And they want to apologise, it would seem. They're making changes. They are thinking about you. Okay, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Please do comment if it resonates. Thank you so much for all your support on my channel. Sending lots of love to you all, and I'll see you soon.